Step back. I have business with the mother. I'm going to kill her. You must allow this. It's important. Sabeel reaches out to the tree. She allows her power to burgeon and grow. And then she directs it all at the heart. The tree shudders and then screams. The heart of the mother tree withers and dies. All is still. There's no time to waste. She sighs. Deep down it, it feels like a betrayal. A just betrayal. I know that many will say I've failed our people, but I don't think I have. Even as I sat on the Prime Scion's throne as a child, watching pilgrims pass by in worship, I could hear her whisper, much like the Master would whisper. Mother and Master, there is precious little difference between the two. Both of them long for power so absolute it's no more than an abstract. Yet it is that very abstract that causes so much actual misery for those that stand in its way. My heart may be conflicted, but my mind is not. I did the right thing. Oh, honey, you should be. It was a trust not lightly given, I assure you. The mere recollection of this tune, it haunts me. Sometimes, in dreams, I hear it whistled, and I fear it's real. I fear I'll never wake up again because it holds me enthralled in the night. And when I think of what it made me do, it's enough to make me want to flay whoever sings it. She pats your shoulder awkwardly. <laughs> but darling, no need to tense up so. I'd never do that to you. Well, not unless you'd attempt to sing the song before we meet the master. But you're far too smart for any such shenanigans, aren't you? Of course you are. Now then, on a more serious note, how about a kiss? Come here. A kiss. A sweet, stolen moment. <laughs> See? I told you we should do this again sometime.